So everybody is driving a SUV. So we call their group Pajero Farmers. Because they're all, uh, <laughs> they're all uh, riding the Pajero or mm. SUVs. But they are farming. But they are farming. <laughs> oh my God. Before, All right. Uh, I'm James. Hi, James. Welcome. You met before at the uh, Mega Mall. It's a sell day three. I take the tour around. I take the fish pond. I like to meet the privately owned Pancasius farm. I get the bed meeting the owner, Mab Ille. So I like to meet the owner. Mo ngi masasay ko hindi din lamo may do tuig ma tuig mataklo tuig klo matedo po magi ngi masasay ko hindi so dahil mo tega tour at tega din ko ka private fishing farm el nariyangi kaya di ko masingi lamo do niya sa pangkasus eh so lang so ka o masang ako pa mga ring kasi tara pa ngayon yung direct sa bed ng lamo ro ngi bela okay especially pangkasus and it appeared in our magazine. Mm. Nationwide. Now this is the brochure yeah. that you could take it out. And then uh, this one is my guy, right? He's the uh, tech technician. I see. Uh, yeah. The problem is there's no market yet for for pangashu. Uh, the, the live. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Reducing for the pangashu. Yeah. Oh, everything is there. Mm. I'm going to serve uh, gentlemen. Pangasius, the dory fish, in many different value-added products. Yeah, this is sausage, yeah. Value-added, yes, yeah, so, uh, you try it, so it'll uh, be taste. So this fish came from Vietnam, right? The, uh, it's really uh, the origin, a habitat of uh, the origin. Vietnam. The origin. But what we have already grown here. Yeah, okay, but maybe. you first brought it from Vietnam to here? Uh, the, the BIFAR, our, uh, the, our government, the government brought it. The government, the government brought it from yes, Vietnam, yes. yeah? The government. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's that? Because it looks like a... Uh, catfish. Catfish, yeah. I it's see. really a catfish. But it's better than catfish. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. No aftertaste, no... No... Well, what do you call this? No bones, no... No fishy taste. No fishy taste. Uh -huh. No aftertaste. You How about uh, nutritious? Is it nutritious? Nutritious, uh, yes. Uh, protein and all yes, that stuff? Yes, high, high protein. So and, uh, what's how, good long, good? How, how long have you been uh, farming uh, Prankashish? Uh, two years. Two years. Two years yeah. You started this two years ago? Yes. But I we see. started with uh, fries later mm. and grow out. So I see. We try to research on first uh, on how to breed it uh -huh. because the so now you have the technology. You oh know yes, how to, you yes, know how yes. to breed. Oh now? yes, we are now breeding, and yeah. we are the source now. Yeah, but even in Mindanao. No, yeah. I haven't. You, you, in you, deep part, yeah, yeah. you can uh, and you now you you can uh, produce uh, and then uh, yes. and yeah. then uh, distribute to yeah, throughout distribute Philippines it, uh, as far as southern Philippines. Yeah. I see. Go ahead, go ahead, I see. Oh, okay. This one is uh, Chinese. This is. I think this one is. What kind of sauce is this? Uh, that's a chili sauce. Chili sauce. Chili sauce. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, or you can put it here. Oh, yeah, that's much better if you put it there. Okay. I'll, I'll put some it lemon you, if you want, mm -hmm. sir. And some lemon. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. And this one, sir. The waste twist. This is pankashus. Um, all of this I made it from pankashus fish, you know. I never tasted, uh, tasted it before. But we'll find out. And uh, after that, we're going to the owner and his wife going to take us throughout the whole facility and we'll find out for sure if we can farm this fish, okay? But first we're going to taste it. All right. Okay, uh, 
<laughs> that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. No aftertaste, no, no aftertaste, no yeah. rangsa, mm. no whatever. You're still like developing uh, 500 grammars. Industry. Yeah. Industry. Mm. Mm. Table size. Table size. So with, we with, with, the, with the fat, mm. I know Lisa, people, people love, yung, ano? love the food. Oh. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because they say, oh, the salmon here is fatty. I said, yes, because it's uh, cultured in uh, Norway, mm -hmm. not like yeah. once in Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you try pangasius, <laughs> you love the fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, cheaper than tilapia. Do you have, like, uh, organized group of people that you get together and share information as far yes. as to... They started it in uh, General Santos. Mm -hmm. But here in Rizal, our support uh, system here is with the DPI, with BFAR, and then with the Rizal Chamber of Commerce. Mm. Uh, so but that's it. we have growers also. Yeah, we have growers. And we have started to oh, okay. yes. first, organize. For the first, we started in Tanay. Mm. We now know each other, and uh, we keep uh, we keep uh, track of our customers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even BFAR is asking me for our customers, so. Or they want a list of our customers so for follow up and I know what's happening now, what are they doing. Mm. We try to follow up with our customers, mm. what they have done with their fish. Mm -hmm. And some of them they said, Oh, I swear, because some of them call me, Mom, it's already one kilo. What will I do with this? They don't yeah, yeah, know about this fish. Mm. You know, I have recipes. I, they know only how oh, to. That's the fish. This is the fish. Yeah, this is the fish. One, fish. About 1.2 kilos, about eight months old. I see. So you have to catch them carefully. Yes, they know how to handle it. Hand I think on the head, etc. On the head. Uh -huh. Okay, but they're not poisonous. No, no, no. Before it was, we call that freshwater hammerhead shark, as <laughs> ornamental <laughs> fish. Shark. Before we really don't know that it will grow like that, so it is for ornamental only. Because they, they don't, uh, we, they haven't seen it. Uh, it may have been uh, in some aquarium in Philippine uh, hotel, mm -hmm. and it looked like small shark. That's the fish. <laughs> <laughs> you call it hammerhead shark because of the head. The pet shops. Do you have uh, like a restaurant in Manila where they specialize pancasius? We're no, known. We're they 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 also have in their menu yeah. pangasius, yeah. but no no, no one is specializing. I mean, mm -hmm. all pangasius is that what you mean, sir? Mm -hmm. All pangasius, yeah. different ways of cooking. No, not yet. And they have. I'd like to start. <laughs> sir, sir, no, that's not the, the fish uh, in Australia, New Zealand. That's different. Fish. <laughs> mm. Pangasius, we, yeah. yes, that's right. <laughs> People we call it now panga. Oh. Not mm. worrying, no? Yeah. Sabi ni doctor. That's good because in one dialect in the village, it's, a lot of meat it's mahal. Yeah. 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 How about the intestine? Do you, you, have it? you discard it? Discard it. Yeah. Can you use it for fertilizer? Uh, feeds, yes. You feeds. put the, how it boils dry. and have it fish. Boiled and then dry. Boiled and then no. Boiled yeah. and, 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 and mix it with the feeds. Yeah. Feeds for? Yeah, for them. For them also. So you can use the intestines, you know, to Feed them with yes. No. Prepare, prepare. Six months. That's yes, a big fish. Because it grows six as big as ten. Seven months. Yeah. Depends on how you feed. How you them. feed, huh? Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, maybe uh, later on we're gonna go out there and we want to yes. see. Oh yeah, we could yes. go now. The yeah. Yeah. Uh, after, yeah. Uh, after yeah. yeah. We have the breeder with the white and the uh, black one, <laughs> and Let's then we grow out. In your experience, does it require a big for for? for uh, a 100 meters, 10 meters by 10 meter, and then one and a half meter deep. That's about uh, 500, Pieces. 500 uh, fingerlings. Fingerlings, fingerlings. Uh, then and that will grow. For grow, for grow out. Six months, yes. yes. One no. kilo. So you need to transfer, you need to transfer. No more. No. Ah, that Initially 500. No. In well, if, you, if you put in 1,000, then you have to transfer. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10 by 10, yeah. 10, okay. by 10. 10 by 10. We now have, uh, I think, 10, 10 uh, municipalities now in Rizal under Governor and uh, Senator Pangilinan have this uh, uh, regional uh, livelihood and, uh, and they are, we are now dispersing it in a model farm. 500 fingerlings per 
10 by 10 by 1 and a half. By 1 and a half. Oh. One and a little uh, You know deeper. how in uh, Pililia, Halahala, Tanay, mm. uh, Montalban, uh, Binangonan. Yeah, we started it. That's the project here in Rizal. Mm. Uh, so the government doesn't property. have a project yes, no. on this piece? Yes, the no. government does not have a project? We, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we started far. it. You started it? Yeah, yeah before. And, the, and privatized it? We do trainings. <laughs> The training is continuous so in the farm. Training regarding we'll this fish. We'll be going there. And then uh, from yeah, there, sometimes I think we just the fish will be just given to you for uh, initial uh, initial for your. That's what we are doing here. Five hundred is for you. Okay, five hundred. So free. in other words, you're still working very closely with the uh, the growers. Oh yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, we have office where we are going. We will be going after this, mm. which okay, is yeah. uh, inland. Uh, more, not actually monitoring, but if they still needs the assistance from the government. Uh, we are very happy to assist them. Our office is very happy mm -hmm. to assist them. Just in case they have their uh, expertise already, then they can forget the government if they want. But I then, see. but for now, government is still working very still, closely still with very them. closely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, helping. You don't impose fines on no. Oh. no. You don't impose yeah. fines. No fines. You but help them, assist them, As everything technically. The Did you hear that? <laughs> technically, government. You don't impose fine on people. You know, we help them. Yeah, because we look for people who can be a partner in the government mm. to uh, promote. Uh, promote the development or sustain a certain product or a certain project. So, in other words, before assisting these people, you come up with a project. Yes. You they work have, out have, all the... They have the facilities. Yeah. And okay, then... You develop their facilities. And then you introduce the project and to the them. Pro yes. And you work closely with them. Yes. And if they do it wrong, you don't find them. Instead, no. you teach them. <laughs> yes, instead, we teach them did the right. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. We have to teach them. If they no. did something wrong, yeah. then we have to check it and did the right thing. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's right. what so if they're building their their facility, you know, like we the pond, uh, and... Uh, you work with them as far as how to construct or yes. build it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because okay. we have the engineering and, department. And if they do it a little bit wrong, you come and teach them the right yes. way, but to don't impose fine on no, them, right? No, oh, no, okay. no. I want to make that very clear. Yeah. I want to make that very clear. We don't impose because in our government, you know, they'll be in the woods and looking and when the, oh, you're doing it wrong now, hit $50,000. <laughs> that mentality, you know, I cannot stand, you know, but I really am happy to hear that, you know, you yes, assist your people to yes, learn the, uh, you know, of, of farming of uh, pangasius, you know, and then when it becomes, uh, you know, uh, uh, a product that you can export and feed your own people, I think that's very nice. Because the progress of the people we help is also... The progress of the Bifar. The progress of the Bifar. Yes. Yes. And yeah. the Bifar is Bifar the of the Philippines, yes. right? Yes, that's oh, a government agency see. that assists people. Yeah. In our country, we have what we call EQPV, uh, which is uh, Environment uh, Quality a Program, or oh, okay. something like that. But anyway, <coughs> in the... When you are constructing a pond or facility to accommodate uh, this project, uh, how do you get a permit to build it? You work with your envi uh, environment, uh, environmental yes. agency, local government, local government and yes. they assist you? Yes. yes. They assist you. Yes. They, they don't find you. you, they assist you. Yes, yeah. they will guide you, they will assist you uh -huh. and tell you what to do. So they come and give you all the conditions and requirements. Uh, yes. You follow that and if you have a question, you ask them. Yes. And they work very closely with you. That's right. Plus We're going to do the same thing, please. Plus, plus okay. technical, plus technical uh, assistance. Yes. If you need it. Government will provide. Government so will provide. Before is the one. Okay. Through before. Okay. That is just like what do you pay? Do you pay your uh, uh, environmental agency like you pay maybe twenty thousand dollars for them to help you? No, no. 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 It's part you of the government. government is paying us. Oh. So. Do you pay for the forms like you have? A, they give you a form, no. and you you buy the form. Permit. No. Permit. You don't buy the form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for the permits, yeah, they usually yeah, very minimal. Yeah. minimal. Yeah. Oh. For the forms or the papers, no. Oh. In public, no. But they don't charge you for Admin. assistance uh, they they'll give it to you free of charge no yeah. free. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, the technical okay. is free all right okay. well <clears throat> we're a very small country and we start mm -hmm. you know and, and we don't know how exactly we're supposed to do this but 
another thing that I see, Ambassador, you know, if I may, uh, uh, kind of discourage people when you have so much to pay or fees here and there. Mm, so people kind of have this attitude like, never mind, you know, yeah. it's too much to do. Mm. But if we simplify the whole process, you know, and less fee and less fine, <laughs> and government work closely with the people, uh, I think we can all mm. progress. We, we call yeah. that here red tape. <laughs> less, less red, red tape. tape. Yeah. <laughs> You know, no okay. government work, all yeah. red tape. This is going to be televised, you know, and back home I'm going to... And I want to show them that, you know, this it's is good, how they do it it's in It's a good Philippines. project. Yeah. It's really a good project. That's why it's so successful, the program, the Tilapia program and the Bankashi's program, mm. because a close assistance from the government. Yes. Yeah. Do you have uh, in Palau fresh water? Yes, we do. I have more. I thought... Uh, we have fresh water. You have uh, less river. But we're going to need your expertise, oh, yeah, like we, we uh, through our ambassador, we're probably going to ask, you know, through some kind of a program where you come and help us, give us a technical... My, my son would be willing to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Identify the location, like, for example, you come and say, okay, this area right here, and then, was, okay, and then we say, okay, this area belongs to what count, uh, state, and then we talk with the government, uh, of, that state yes, government, you know, uh, uh, especially the governor, and then we work closely with them uh, mm -hmm. because I feel like if we give it to the national government, it's too wide, uh, you know, of responsibility. So and if we yes, kind yes. of aim it to a smaller group That's of right. uh, maybe a county or a, a barangay, you know, and then concentrate on that, I think the project will take off with no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and so Ambassador and I were talking yeah, about it. Two hundred kilos uh, every week. Yeah. From this farm? Yes, from yes. this farm. And you're and making profit. Desert. You're oh, making yes, profit. Yes. Okay. That's good. So last yeah. week we delivered uh, 200 <laughs> kilos. No, I just do this. I receive a uh, text that uh, another order of 200 kilos. What group of people or nationality uh, uh, like the Filipinos? Like it the Filipinos? Yeah, they like it. Japanese? They Japanese, they like them? Yeah. They haven't started. Okay. Have you introduced this to the Japanese market? A fish fillet. They will not tell you it's from it's from But actually, it's fish, fish fillet. Yeah. Teriyaki boy. We yeah. order. Oh, teriyaki. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh. Japanese. Japanese. The jollibee. 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 Bangashus, yeah. Sandwich piece also. But, sir, have you tasted this as raw, like ilawi, inilaw? Inilaw. Inilaw na. Na talaguin, di ba? Yes, the food or festival. Or sushi. Can you eat sushi? We had the food festival. Sashimi or yes. kalaguin? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah, but uh, since this is a freshwater fish, you know, they're kind of hesitant uh, uh, of eating this, you know, fre uh, raw. Yes, uh, no, it's good. The Japanese are expert of this, you know, so if the Japanese eat it raw, then we'll eat it raw. <laughs> the Filipinos eat it raw, we'll eat it raw. In tilapia, we do it now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the tilapia. A kilo of tilapia, we get the filet. I want to try it. I want to try it. Uh, we're, we're coming to Pankashu's uh, hatchery and nursery. Um, Tamayo ay merko ay ang aral sa the nursery, ay merko ay sa loran mo mo at mo mora gidel panding, okay? Merak mo tumuy mo mesa gidel magkare ni kare lang ang aral sa tayo the nursery, okay? Let's go. Oh, okay. Deep well. And do you taste or test? The water quality to make sure that it's not contaminated or maybe have some foreign. Well, we, we have some, uh, what do you call this? Uh, not really insecticide, but an exploder. But can you tell between male and female fungus? Yes. Yeah. You can. They know. They, they know. Because yesterday they showed us by flipping the tilapia over. And show us the difference. Uh, yeah. Uh, the white one is the male. The male one, the white one. The white one is the male, and the black is female. Yes. Okay. 
Mm, they're not, these are not invasive, right? No. Okay, they're not. No, no. They look like sharks. These are four months old. Okay, how often do you feed them? Two or three times a day. And you make your own feed? Yes. Okay, and these are four months, you said? Yes. Okay, so another four months, then you can sell them. Okay, now let's go and see the fingerlings. So the small one. The small one. Okay. Now, for these fingerlings now, how do you feed them? Uh, we, we have the uh, fry fish, uh, fry mash. I see. Yeah, uh, smaller than support. And you, you, grind, you grind them very small and yeah, then just put them in the water. And again, you feed them maybe two times the, a day? The character of this fish is, if it is inside, in a small container, it's, uh, the size is uh, smaller. But once you release that in, in the a bigger pan, mm -hmm. it's a bigger it's pan. Oh, it it looks like good. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> So you take one small scoop and yeah, then... Yeah, you could try. You just could try, uh, just, uh, you could try uh, Oh, I look at the brochure you gave me and it gives me the breaks down and yeah, tells you yeah. how much profit. And yeah, this yeah. is very that's profitable. Good. Yeah, profitable. Good business, that's yeah? True. That's true. Yeah. That's why it's a property alleviation mm. and food for the farmers. So this is men and wife project. Oh, no, they will family. All family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son is the doctor. He's came, a doctor. Yeah, he came to the, he went to Vietnam to study this also. And he's got his doctor degree of aquaculture. It's, no. it's, he's on, he's oh, a see. ophthalmologist. Oh, <laughs> medical. medical. Yes. So he went to school for medical and now he's doing this. <laughs> yeah, he's <just> right. <laughs> Makes he's, sense. <laughs> he's also a uh, cosmetic surgeon. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but instead the he works he with enjoys, yeah. oh, he enjoy he this. Enjoys. Uh -huh. It's in the blood. <laughs> it's in the blood. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy farming. Yeah, yeah the, the uh, our press people is trying to support us. I'm going to show this on our national television yes, when we yes, go back. Yeah. And then we, if we get the people are interested in this kind of farming, we're probably going to ask assistance, you know, oh, if yes, we cannot get it to be far or government maybe we deal with you directly, you know, yeah. but... Usually you, they uh, yeah. also tap us. Because yeah, it's, it, it's, it's good. We came here to oh, really yes, look yeah. at tilapia, but now we have opportunity to see other fish, yeah. you know. Uh, people, uh, Filipinos have been used to tilapia. And, you know... Probably they are interested, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, just a matter of convincing them that tila uh, compared to tilapia, this, this is, is much cheaper and better. cheaper because it grows fast in six I months. I see. One kilo see. for tilapia, you need four fish to have one kilo in four months. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the that's the secret of tilapia. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. And this you can have a. A processing plant where you can just uh, fillet yes, yes, and uh, put them in the and package. The, the sound developing it here. I see. And package it and then just send them down to Jollibee and all oh, of this. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. why, why they're separated like this in the small That's containers? It. Well, you have to... Stop. Well, first, when you sell it, you count it. So uh, that's about 2,000 uh, uh, if it is on a uh, pick. These uh, drums could have one uh, two thousand. How many employees do we have for such a big operation like this? this? One, we have six. Six employees. Two technicians. They live here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is about, like when you lose power. Do you have a, your own generator? Yeah, generator. To, yeah, to generator. Oh, I see. I see. Just like me, you know, I have a radio station and television station, and we, we have, have to have, have a, a standby yeah, generator stand in case if the power goes standby. out. Yeah. I got a question to ask you. Can I have one of these t-shirts as a souvenir? Oh, no problem. No problem. We want to advertise <laughs> your farm yeah, also. Yeah, I know, yeah. Farm. yeah. <laughs> because you know the Teresa <clears throat> Rizal. Yeah. Teresa is the name of his wife. Wow. <laughs> okay. So the the caretakers are here, but you and your wife are yeah. uh -huh. uh, living in Manila. Yeah. We, we, what we did was uh, build. Uh, Houses for I think seven or eight uh, uh -huh. married already. Uh -huh. So they provided with free water, free electricity, free housing. Yeah. And they are situated all around. And then their family. Security, yeah. 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 
and their family. And the uh, school is here on uh, elementary. We have it in high school outside the oh, new one. Oh, I see. More Electricity is very is stable. Similar. Yes. Yeah. Stable. Okay. Although for brownout, we have uh, a one hundred thirty-five uh, kilowatt. Kilowatt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To provide in case of uh, you lose power. Yeah, like with, it's uh, you and your family are all together with ah, this, yes, you know. Yes, so weekend uh, farmer. Yeah. yeah. You go here, go seven. Uh -huh. And so okay. someday when you're gone, then your son can. Uh, and then now it's making money. So money, now he's yeah. more like he's a son. Mm -hmm. Never mind the medical doctor. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> this is better. And, and this one will be turned into the next generation. Next maybe. generation. Yeah. Those big fans, what are they for? For uh, uh, oh, ventilation. Oh. You invite us here, we'll be too glad to visit Palau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're coming down to the pond. This is the pond. Yeah, natural, uh, what do you call this? Uh, soil pond, mud pond. Sir, uh, sir, we could have it here. Okay. These are the feeds. And they make their own. I got a little like a needle to till Marula. A solang at a Ramula Sola and most of the other Lablomka. I gave it a little longer more to get. I gave most of the Lomka. A hallowed message was this Merbap. Okay. Can I throw in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, they're coming up now. Look at them. Look at that. How do you harvest them? You use a net? Net, net yeah. Casting net or what? Uh, long net, yeah. Long net, yeah? Look at all these fish. Okay. How many, th how many hundreds of fish in here? Maybe estimate? I think we have 5,000. 5,000 in here? This one is about 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the one with the one over there we looked at is how many months old? Four, no, one four. Four months. Four months. Okay. And this is much bigger. much bigger. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fish there. Can you do it Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. yes. why they know where to feed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why if you take care of this, you'll enjoy feeding it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. My granddaughter used to fish it. You make your own feed, eh? Those uh, feed? Yes, yes. Oh. And how often you feed them? Morning and evening? Yes. Look, they stick their mouth out of the water. <laughs> oh. They're fighting. That one is about three meters deep. I see. For bigger, bigger, it's better to have it deeper, deeper. I see. And this is a natural lake, or you feel no, no. this? You feel okay, it. Okay, and then water by But do you need to put a fresh water? I see a running hose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, uh, to add water. To it's add water. fresh water. I see. Since we don't have a well water, we need to uh, maybe a. Uh, a river, river, yeah, a river, a river. At the side of the river, side of the a river. river is fresh water. So yeah, you could uh, pump the fresh water river okay. inside this you know, and or, you have, uh, Does it rain in your place? Yeah, yeah a lot. So you can. If this you one is fed by rain. Rain fed. So yeah, yeah. Uh, look at water. look at them. Look at them <laughs> fish. They're fighting now. Yeah, they, yeah, they got yeah. their mouth sticking out there, and you are saying, "Give me some more. Give me some more." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, they're biting each other. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Bangashish, Bangashish. In this case, they call it Bangashish. Bangashish, so Bangashish. Look at that. Look at that fish there. Richie, we don't have to go fishing. Uh, just then, if uh, you want, you just take the scoop and scoop them. There's somebody who wants to take care of this and then have a hook line and then, yeah. then what you cut, you cook it. So it's more of a yeah, diversion, yeah, 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 yeah. more of a recreation fund. Yeah, yeah. Where, where is the cup? Uh, 
Right. Ambassador, when we introduce, I'm going to amend, uh, put amendment to that bill, not only for tilapia, for Bangladesh also. Make it uh, general to accommodate uh, others that would be viable. Other okay. species, uh, but hard to pass because you know they're going to say, go out and film and get the facts. Then we'll talk about it. But since I already here and filmed this, I can go back with information that said, let's include Pankaj in that bill. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be a good idea. So, yeah, so if anybody interested later, then they can get into this market. Yeah. Okay. And they're willing to help us, right, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too glad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Too glad to have a vacation in uh, Palau. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, they give it a long, they give it a pound, they got the little pound, they last the four months pound. How many pound, um, months is this? Uh, five months. Five months. They last give it a long, they got to give it a message in five months. They give it a long, I mean, a four months, they last give it a five months. I tell my daughter, ambassador, it was a member of the other one, a pangajus fish, in my talapia, and was a legal deal, deal invasive. And I tell my daughter, I give the owner of the farm, and my daughter was a second of the by Umgrola Pangasius, and more profitable than the seller, let's say five to six months, and 1.2 or 3 kilo. It's so long as the Umgrola Talapia, they go down four or five Talapia, and more than one kilo. Mang Akti, Imo Umlumolmul. I give the information, I give the panga juice. 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 So long, a modest salad that lack laha, I got Nigara and Melet. Mm, I the only way and most of the subsidized demand for fish, uh, Malobus Lela, a Nigala, and Gire the more aquaculture. Take the Tora Talapia, Mapangasius, I come thus when and solution to our problems in the future. Okay, thank you. Ya dulu la bambu, dulu la bambu. Ika bambu, malungil bambu. Okay. This big, this two buildings. Saya tak belok. Ika beli la malga. Oh, itu, itu mengeru la malga. Esok lagi, elai kita kita le sembuhi aje mengelgol tayar malga and poultry. Elai angat tu tera malga di rega sel di la malga lola pun beru la kalau tayar ni kalau conditional mir. Mengira dengan lu malga di rega kalau ada belau. Okay. Let's move on. I got a little girl, I got a mahongani. I got a little mahongani. I got a little ginkang. Look at that. I got a little ginkang. I got a little ginkang. I got a little ginkang. He said maybe about 10 acres. And uh, he planted this. Uh, he's a former general. And uh, what he did about 20 some years ago, uh, he came here and planted all of this, all of this mahogany. Same time, you know, poultry farming and pakashus farming, and that's him and his wife and, and his son. Yeah. I asked him for the. Is there this more or you know, extra large? Uh, no for me. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, it's more. Uh, no. no, I'm gonna put this in my yeah. office. Yeah, that'd be just the yeah. pakashus. Uh, pakashus. Yeah. There you go. Your heart will love pakashus. Same about the farms. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, because like right now, Palau doesn't have really nothing to export. We live on tourism, you know, and we make our our revenue derived from tourism. So we want to start something like aquaculture and other. And then you and then you could offer the fish to the tourists. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So we thank you so much. Yeah. I'm not telling you that I'm going to arrive at a private farm, St. Martha's Mangasius Farm. It's a private. I'm going to take the operator of the farm. I'm going to look at the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. 
that are Blura Kia National Inland Fisheries Technology Center, Kegda, Kegda Station, which is about maybe 45 minutes away from Marta's farm. originated from Vietnam, perfect private. E dirga mo mo magabal mentra ko yung ping lolo ng sao ay gagidir private farm el mo civil ditir e self al civil ditir e so at totally privatized ngi e mo diha i morir ngi di elang talapia farming pangkasus farming ay gagidir get the blow fisheries el al tora om om oktob el mo lamel mo om puro le langi gal el ni alos pe el ni mo ra export malubet mga espil export ra usi pa di gagidir set station ditir Okay. In behalf of Dr. Aida Palma, who is now at the conference and meetings at the central office and in Manila, I would like to take the opportunity to give you the overview of the center. But sitting behind us is our two students from Pangana, Africa, who are uh, conducting their yes, thank you. For well, conducting their on the job training here in the station on aquaculture freshwater money. Actually, this farm is a three hectare farm of freshwater species, particularly of common carbs, the carb species, and uh, all species of carbs, and the cyprinids and silurid species like the catfishes. We have here the pangasius species of. Uh, this is the Pangasius hypothalamus that we are uh, promoting the Bureau of Egypt. Sir, my, my name is Alfonso Diaz. I'm senator yes. from the Republic senator of Palau. Yes. Yeah, and the uh, ambassador, uh, he's a residence ambassador from the Republic of Palau, uh, Ramon Rebe. Um, we, we came here, uh, we submitted our request uh, through uh, your embassy in Palau and and then from there on to uh, BFAR, and also at the same time, the Minister of State inform our ambassador to assist me to uh, go around and see if we can come up with uh, uh, a fish that is, uh, can, or fishes that can be um, used for food and also for exportation uh, purposes uh, in Palau, mainly tilapia. Uh, so we came here really for tilapia, but we are also open for other uh, fishes like uh, uh, the tropical fish you have there also. We want to have a little knowledge of how you um, produce and, and how you manage and how you, you farm. <clears throat> so we came here for all of that and we really do appreciate your um, you know, very detailed uh, briefing. Um, I have a question now for you. Uh, mm -hmm. The when we came in, we saw a sign out there, um, and that sign uh, was really uh, give me gives me idea that the main purpose of this station here is for pancasius fish, uh, and then at the same time you do other things like carp and and other fishes here. Now. Can you tell me that uh, where you got this fish? I heard that it came from Vietnam and we just came from a, a private farm, which is, they're very successful of raising this fish. Their farm is really- Particularly the Pangasius. The Pangasius, yeah. So how are you uh, assisting the, the people, you know, the farming this? Do, do you have a local farmers around here or are you doing this for, for this region or are you doing it for the entire country? Uh, can you tell us, uh, how, how you, uh, what the purpose of the station? This fish comes from the Mek Mekong River, no? as, as we all know, it originated from the Mekong River. But the pangasius that we have here came, came from Thailand. How do you help the people? You go out and get them? You go out to the community and, 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 and teach and introduce this technology to the people Since or the government? Answer, uh, the first that we do is to uh, train these re BIFA regional technicians. So, so they're the one to be involved in training their correspondents in their in their in their camp in their area. Oh, okay, so that's how that's how you help the community. Yes, sir. Oh. As well as 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 you have, uh, if you don't ask this one is Saint Martha, the technician of Saint Martha, 
Yes, from that 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 you have been there no, in St. Martha Farm. Yeah. Uh, the technicians of of this Miss Canson, General Canson, their technician has been trained here in the okay, center. Okay, so you provide so them the know-how yes, the and and uh -huh. Oh. And you continue, and you continue to provide them information as how to yes, successfully. We have a, a network. We I have see. A net, network linkage chain on the technologies of this uh, fish, particularly mangasters. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Ambassador, do you have any questions for mangasters? Well, uh, not so much on uh, mangasters. Uh, I guess my uh, main interest, uh, sir, is uh, Philippines, of course, is a big country. Big country, and as you said, uh, it's, uh, it's difficult to go out by yourself, but just how you develop the, uh, the interest of uh, first uh, getting the interest and disseminate it to those communities, and in return, they come back to you and ask for assistance. I think that's, uh, that's what the uh, yes. senator is trying to uh, Through the before regional technicians that we are training uh, every year in the center, we are conducting twice or thrice a national training for before regional technicians. They're the one responsible for their areas of concern. Well, the idea of uh, introducing pangasus like in the 50s uh, in the Philippines, uh, Atlapia was considered an invasive, uh, uh, there was a resistance. But now in the case of Pangasius, uh, how did you just bring it to the community yes, level without uh, uh, some resistance? Uh, uh, just like Tilapia during the start of this species, no? because uh, Tilapia was introduced in the Philippines 1950s. And then there was a problem regarding this fish during that time, and the people don't accept it. But uh, later on, on the, on the 70s and 80s, the technologies were now accepted we by the people. We have a problem here, and I think that every country has the same concern as we in Palau have. Something foreign, something that is not native, animal, plants, fish, we automatically feel that it is invasive. We're afraid of it. Something that is not native or local, we are afraid of it. Same thing with tilapia, that's why I'm here. To get all this information so when I go home, I can bring it back and I said, look, even the Filipinos way back in the 50s felt the same way we feel now. And since they were able to get it and study it and study it and do some research, Come to find out about almost 50 years later that this fish is more beneficial, providing food, exportation to other countries, and it is good fish. So now you found out. When you first bring these fish that are not native, Pangasius, Tilapia, did you have that fear like we do? Did yes, you have sir. the fear of invasive yes, species? As we have said, uh, the BFAR, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, are also conducting this analysis regarding this fish on how it will contribute to the to the safety of our <laughs> of our indigenous fishes here in, in, in the Philippines. So we conducted studies on how how invasive is this fish, <clears throat> and we found out that uh, there is a uh, less risk in, in having this fish here in the Philippines. When we start our program, we introduce two young men in the back yes. from Kenya. Kenya is very no, far. Ghana. Ghana. Ghana okay, Ghana, Africa. They're very far from Philippines. Why Philippines and not Vietnam? They, you guys offer a program throughout the world for people to come here. Why is it that you came here in the Philippines, not in Vietnam? Why why uh, pangasius being, you know, a fish that you want to learn about? Uh, my father was the one who researched on this pangasius. He is a, he's somebody who likes to travel, so he had the idea in China. In China? Yeah, I saw the fish in China. He said it's very good. So 
And that's how you became interested in Pangasius fishing, yeah? So you came to Philippines, why? Because they have a better facility or cheaper, let's say? Because Philippines is much farther than... Yeah, it's much farther, but they have technology-wise, they are very good. They have a better technology. So you decided to come to the Philippines. Yeah. Let's, let's clap hands for Filipinos. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. If it's going to be necessary to identify young men and women to come to, to study here, mainly for tilapia and pangasius, yes. we probably do so. But Ambassador talked to me and said, well, it's much better if you bring the technicians over to Palau so they can see Palau. Mm. And we've learned so much in three days. And um, uh, tomorrow we're going to be going to Takaytay and Batangas to look at other farms there. Yes. And that will be our last day, you know, so. I got a question. I've heard before that uh, Lacunas Lake is the most polluted lake uh, in the Philippines. Is it still polluted or you, the government have tried to clean it up? Well, uh, not so very polluted as, as, we, as we are having uh, heard that. It was considered as one of the living lakes, one of the living lakes in the world. Not as polluted as uh, others have said. You know, uh, but just looking at uh, the whole country, you know, I, a couple of months ago I was up with, to um, Solano, Nueva Vizcaya and Banawe, we went up there and, uh, and you know your country is so rich of uh, natural resources you know so I think now Philippines is working so hard trying to revive everything as far as conservation programs you, you have beep up your work on the uh, uh, conservation programs and also try to minimize uh, pollution in your lakes you know so I see that your national government is uh, is trying to work hard on that because I think they now realize that uh, if you don't take care of your environment, your environment will not be there to take care of your future generation. Thank you. Uh, yeah. You know, I like I like the coconut. You know that you uh, you see they're filming this. You see this? This is the local lunch here at the uh, at the station. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Mm. This is a young man from uh, Kana. Yeah. These two young men. Ghana. Huh? Ghana. Ghana, come from Ghana. And I asked them why Philippines, and they just told me that they speak English over there. So therefore, if they come to Philippines, they can, they can learn it faster. And you know what? By looking at him, he should be playing basketball, but instead he's here. This guy here told me that his father sent him here so he can learn how to be a, a fisherman or yeah. farmer. Yeah. yeah. Or aquaculture. So how long are you guys going to be here? Uh, three months. One three months. months. In this center, one month. Yeah, this center one month, yeah. but you're going to be here for three months, right? To, we are in here, I think we are two months gone now. Two months, oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see. So you like it here? Uh, it's not cold, you can just like your home country, yeah? yeah? yeah. How, old, how old are you? 19. 19? How about you? 19? Oh. They are twins. You're, tw you're twins? Yeah. Oh. Have, oh, have you checked the girls? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Very nice facility. Yeah. You know, Filipinos are very smart people. We, we, when we, when we have uh, heart problems, we don't fly to America. We fly to Philippines to have our heart fixed. You know, they, they give us heart a lot surgeons. of surgeons. Heart yeah, surgeons. The best heart, heart surgeons, surgeons are from here. Yeah, they're smart people, you know. They don't look smart, but they're smart, you know. <laughs> you have to... Or maybe you do like this. Yeah, yeah. You have to train the Pangasius, you know, to, to sing. When you sing, they come. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can also train them. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh. So every time when they hear this sound or, you know, Familiar from their ears, they will come. Uh, are these a breeder? No. Yes. These are breeders. Breeders? These are already the, the breeders that we. So, okay, now when they breed, when when they're pregnant and then the fingerlings come out and then you scoop the fingerlings? No. no? We, we induce 
we induce this fish. Oh, induce. We put oh. Or, uh, inducing hormone. Oh, okay, okay. They don't produce it naturally. They they are produced. Oh, induced, induced yeah. Cloning. Oh, that technology we need to learn. Yeah, mm. that's why you have that's to include that on the and the, the, the CD that you will be bringing home. Oh, okay. So those guys from uh, Africa they learn that too. So when they go home, they get. Yes, also. Oh, I see, I see. They are more interested in pangasius. Oh, because according to the retired general, he said that uh, profit-wise, pangasius is the one, not yes, tilapia. He yes. said, yeah. It's very true. Oh man, they really eat. How, how many months are these? This is around three, two to three years old. Oh, okay, okay. And the video that you've given us is also have all that in there. So maybe we don't need you to come over. We can. <laughs> you can do it. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> No, it's best that you come, so uh, yeah, if you make mistake, you tell us, oh, that's the wrong way, that's the wrong way. Matai Street Lawyer, Matai Street Lawyer. You know, Street Lawyer, if you come here and see this, you're going to believe that Philippines is full of natural resources. This is Lacuna Lake. And there's thousands and thousands of different communities that are living around the Lacuna Lake. And this is one of the biggest, right? The people met him very well. Come on, be sure. 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 Come on, be where are we going to spend the night at? In Batangas. In Batangas. We're going to go to Batangas tomorrow and, uh, and also Takaitai. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Batangas and Takaitai tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay. But we're going to spend the night here in Lacuna and uh, till tomorrow because it's kind of getting late. You know, we have one more stop to make. Yep. And then we're going to go. Then uh, some of us, some of these guys go back to Manila and uh, for the rest of us and the allocation, we're going to stay right here uh, at uh, Lacuna and spend the night because the uh, uh, Takaitai and, and, and also Batangas is nearby. So it doesn't make sense to go back to Manila and then go to Takaitai tomorrow and Batangas. So if, if you... Bolos and spears versus guns and cannons When Magellan was hit on his neck He stumbled down and cried and cried Oh mother, mother, I am sick Call the doctor very quick Doctor, doctor, shall I die? Tell my mama do not cry Tell my mama At the of Magellan in the island of Mactan, long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. Pwede mo namang ito isang lab, both panggas. Sa tilapia. The year 1990s, red tilapia was cultured in this town. It's a density of 1,000. Eh, 150 per cubic meter. Red uh, tilapia. Red tilapia and Excel tilapia. So the red tilapia was very successful, so you t gave it to the private sector to undertake. Fingerling production so that we can have uh, no, supply for the research projects, techno demo projects at the station, and for the private sector that are going to venture on this. I know, in the culture of tilapia. This is one project we have, you can say we have commercialized because the private sector are adapting the technology, especially on tilapia, intensive culture. Okay, 
what about the uh, fungus? Uh, we are still on our second uh, experimental one. We have uh, first we have tried the uh, red and excel tilapia. We also tried the freshwater prawn, but it is not uh, so feasible because uh, the species is uh, territorial. So our um, recovery is slow. Nine this is from the hot water source? Yes, but we cool them for because three days. The, uh, the, the water spring. coming from the mountain, we are oh. near the mountain, is hot water. There are plenty of hot springs here. And the source of this water is hot. Uh, they so, put it fresh on the cooling tank. How about playing no, 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 uh, against the tilapia? No, no complaint. Besides getting the temperature hot, with other parameters of the water, is there any differences? Hardness maybe or the, 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 the temperature straight from the pump is 55 degrees centigrade. It's very hot, so we have to cool it down. But the quality quality of that water is yeah, this yes. Is Once you cool the water already, it's very heat. Actually, we promote this program in a highly urbanized city or municipality because they have no space. Yes, it's because of the space. So we That's what I'm interested of, you know, having each family that you know, can make a tank like this, you know, put water in it and put how many tilapias you got in there? It can hold 1,000, more than 1,000, more than 1,000 for this the three meters. For this but you need to put all those uh, life support systems like vehicle, yeah. over flow, uh, flowing water, and then the feeds. Sometimes they do have it uh, three times feeding in the morning, like like mm, uh, yeah, you have breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. But sometimes, <laughs> if, times. if you're lazy, uh, if you're lazy enough, you can and you're you're in the house. Uh, you don't have nothing to do. Then you can give at ten o'clock in the morning, then and then four. another four in the afternoon. Oh. It goes like that. Twice a day it can be th uh, three times or twice a day. Morning and evening. How's that? It, that could work. Oh, okay. That could work. But always somebody there. Like if you close your house and go on vacation, then somebody must somebody feed. Somebody must yeah, feed. because oh. this is intensive. Mm. They it should be not necessarily twenty four hours, mm -hmm. but at least. After 12 hours, there will be somebody to look after, and then uh, so, uh, ration feeds. Okay, how we were able to harvest uh, one time 1.4 tons in a 300 square meter lot area. One time. One time. 1.4. Economically, since there was a uh, they're using rabbit for the source. They don't need electricity for the water to come in. Uh, in the process. We just make sure that gravity force will be the best for you to bring in water. Because if you're going to make a water pump to enter the water, it will cost you, that will have an additional cost for the electricity maybe, or for the water pump using gasoline or gasoline fed or diesel fed. That air blower. But if you have a constant running water into them, then you don't need that, right? You will also be doing that, but you will have uh, to lessen the number of hours. Uh, if you are going to use inside the tank, you need pumps or ten pumps. What area? At least 12 times. Unless we give our hands. So, some of the issues is something low before we go. It gets you water coming out. Yeah. And uh, waste with the outflow. And where this water goes? We swell towards the lake. Go towards the lake. But you don't have to worry about uh, getting some it's clean water, basically. It's not, it's not 3D organic. So let's say maybe tilapias. The waste being 
the weight. Getting the feet. Oh, okay. And let's say that for finger links, you know. No. No. Uh, the centered vein has a screen. It is screen. So the, the fish won't uh, go out. Screen on here? No, on the center vein. The bottom. The floor of this pack. Or have a screen? Yeah. So you have a centered vein, you have a screen so that the fish won't uh, go out in the water. Won't go out in the water. So even, even if it uh, yeah. rains hard, this, the tank won't overflow because of this, this pipe. And there's a screen in the bottom of this tank. Yeah. So, so the, the if they go. lay eggs, you know, it stay above the screen. Uh, this is used uh, for uh, grow out. You don't use it for uh, production. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now for grow out, you only have male or no female? You don't mix them? When you say mix sexes, the male, male and, and female together. And when they're together, they don't produce? They don't produce because uh, one uh, effect of intensive stocking or dense stocking is it, su it suppresses the, the urge to reproduce. Oh. So they don't reproduce if the stocking is dense. Just competing for food and no, uh, yeah. no, no time, no time for love. <laughs> no time for love. <laughs> Only time for food. Uh, <laughs> a couple uh, able to to breed. The, the eggs will be treated as waste. It will go out with the water. Okay, James. We got the idea. Uh, we, I think. The only species that we got in the mangrove is the crab. Mm -hmm. the, the only, yeah, is the only. Yeah, we have crab. Maramundi? Actually, it's uh, that's it opposite of salmon. Yes, yeah. the opposite of salmon. That's it. Yes, the opposite. Anadromus. Catadromus. Catadromus and anadromus. That's right. So uh, it goes uh, to the in the ocean and then yeah. goes back to the fresh water. We we also have one in Taalik. We call it the ka, uh, actually karangs. it's a karangs family. Karangs. Uh, well, what's the Tagalog? Uh, uh, Maliputo. Maliputo. Yeah, Maliputo. Uh, okay. And in in the marine waters they call it in Tagalog. Uh, okay. Yung sa marine, yung talakito. Talakito. In marine, they call it talakito. Just the same as Maliputo. Only the difference is this one is from the freshwater, Maliputo, and talakito is from the marine. But they're different species. No. There are, there are different species of that. Species. Yeah, the, but, same family, Kara. Yeah, but they are both in the genus. Okay. Uh, that's a good fish. Uh, yeah, it's very uh, special. Uh, expensive and uh, it's yeah. oily, uh, oily yeah. fish too. Pompano. Uh, okay. yes. Actually, right now we are reading Pompano. Pompano. Uh, uh, silver. Silver Pompano. This is the food that uh, Ambassador uh, uh, Rabe is uh, providing. Uh, his friend is providing the food for us tonight. And we want to really thank you for, for all of this food. Okay? So this is our uh, dinner. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is our last day. And then we're going to head back to Manila. Oh, Lake Taal. Lake Taal. Okay. That's it. Now let's sit down and eat.